Yo, what's going on guys? Soderbred Gamer here, and welcome to Dr. Kvorik's Obliteration Game. This came out recently on Steam. I got a press copy from the developers, so thank you for that. Gonna go in blind and see my first impressions of this game. It is the nature of every creature to seek meaning in its existence. Why am I here? What is real? How do I choose my path? When worldly knowledge fails to answer, we seek guidance from higher beings, cosmic adventurers who defy the laws of time, those who have never touched death. Our oldest legends tell of one such entity known as the Trickster, an immortal being with magical powers and mysterious motives who toys with our worlds for his own amusement. But what exactly is this creature? A hero, a genius, a fool, or the destroyer of us all? Welcome, welcome, my friends, to the biggest show in the galaxy, the Obliteration Game! We have an incredibly exciting show for you tonight, with three very special guest stars who are playing for the ultimate cosmic prize. The chance to win real worlds from my amazing private planetarium collection, as well as some fantastic bonus prizes to take home with them. Now it's time to meet our first contestant, all the day from Little Planet New. Let's welcome Gribu to my obliteration game. Well, tonight's show is going to be truly extraordinary, so stay tuned and play this game. Liberate or obliterate, which will he choose? Alright, so here we are. Let's try to figure this out. I like the animations. Character designs definitely original. What a cracking start for our little blue minion. Let's see what he does next. And I'd just like to remind all my viewers at home that our contestants have no idea what we have planned for them. That is true. No clue what's gonna happen. Our spacebar jumps. He uses WASD for uh, movement. The first of the Xavier Stones. Pretty, isn't it? But not as pretty as the planet it came from. One of the best from my collection. I call it a slice of the world of cheese. You need to collect all of them to freeze the cheese. Billions Oops. of tiny, worthless cheese minions depend on you to save them. Your choice? No pressure, though. It's entirely up to you. After all, it's only cheese. Oh, he likes his cheese. Alright, you can zoom out with the mouse wheel. What happens if you don't save the world of cheese, you ask? Yeah, it's at this point in the show that I have to confess a secret passion for cheese toasties. Mmm, cheese. Wood of the gods, and I should know. How oh, he really likes his cheese. All right, let's try to avoid that enemy. Oh, 
looks like a... You look strange and weird, even for a tiny creature. <laughs> looks like if you hit R, there's like different outfits and stuff. That's pretty cool. A fine cheese tastes better the older they get. Actually, you could say it evolves into something more mature, ageless, even immortal. Rather like myself. I am Gavorak, god of cheese. When a slice of cheese is really old, it's stinky and wrinkly and green with mold. I thought we'd sorted out these production issues in the last show. My friends, I must apologize. There appears to be a small ongoing technical problem. Please remain calm and pay no attention to anything with the feathers. Okay. Oh, there's a chicken. I think we're just collecting... Just collecting cheese. Solving puzzles so far. Which is cool with me, I mean, it's a puzzle game. Alright, there we go. pretty good. You'll be popping from here to there in the blink of an eye. Win treasures beyond your wildest dreams. Such dazzling prizes that glitter and gleam. Although nothing is quite what it seems. For the Prince of Lies will steal your dreams. I like the chicken. Lily, you are a cosmic fashion icon. Oh. Alright, we gotta get a block. Grab some cheese. the music. Alright, there we go. Okay, now we got the stairs. Yeah, really enjoying it so far. It's a nice casual puzzle game. Alright, let's uh
Oh, maybe that worked. Millions of years ago, I decided to live forever. I admit it was a bit naive. I didn't realize how long forever really was. And that's why I rather envy the stupid little no man. So young, so viral, so completely unaware of how precarious his pointless existence is. And now that on the subject of my show, I admit it's been so long now that I've forgotten most of my childhood. It's just as well. It was a rather sad one, I believe. My parents were too obsessed with obliterating worlds to bother with little old me. Frankly, it's a miracle I'm not crazy. <laughs> Poor little god boy, so very neglected. He seeks his comfort with words collected. That's it. I've had it this poultry. When I find that wretched bird, it's destined for a very special fate as my next Christmas dinner. up by myself on my mountain, but solitude is entirely necessary for a creative genius such as myself. Besides, I had so many beautiful toys to play with, I could never be sad. It's important to keep busy, you know. After all, busy is the new happy. to teleport back. Oh, we got one of them. The God of Christmas tied the doors to shiny presents from planet stores. But don't bother planning your Yule indoors, as my world will burn, and so will yours. Oh, oh got... no, just no. We got a sombrero. Uh, we're gonna need a block. I think we beat a level. <laughs> what an amazing start to the show! Wasn't our little blue minion just fantastic? Well, I know you're all on the edge of your seats wanting to know how he did. So, Let's take a look, shall we? Congratulations, Gribu! You've read the world of cheese and saved billions of lives. All this tasty, cheesy goodness will now be liberated into a very special place in my famous planetarium collection, where we can gaze on its gooey deliciousness every day. Alright, it's on with the show. Here we go. Zone 2. Liberate or obliterate? Which will he choose? Yeah, well, that was the first level. Yeah, the game's a lot of fun. It's, uh, you know, gets your mind thinking. Kind of like Portal a little bit with the puzzles. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely recommend it for sure. So, uh, if you like what you've seen, give it a chance. 
I mean, I'm curious with the story where it's really going to go, so I might play more this on my free time, but yeah, I had a lot of, a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, definitely worth a buy, and I'll see you guys on the next Toasty Play.